lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say... Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Oh, who do you guys think that is? Eivor? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. The question is, what are they doing digging up his grave? A little bit creepy if you ask me. Tea? Oof, mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec, and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I, and now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all. From another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Our new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. 
I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. Be wary. Randy! Dig in your oars! All standing! Have you spotted something? Not yet. But let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you. Sail on. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming. They do not. But they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No! No! We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single room to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre! We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him! That is the difference! What strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Come to stop the boats. Pull up over there. The way it over is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Oh my god. That present day cutscene had me going crazy. There's so much stuff that I want to say about that, but then they had the cutscene of them on the boat. And of course, I try not to talk during cutscenes so you guys can hear them. So I had to wait for them to stop talking before I could continue. But before I get into that, yo, 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 what's up everyone, it's Patrick. And welcome to part 4 of my Assassin's Creed Valhalla series. I'm giving an intro and it's almost 10 minutes into the video already, but it's alright. I think that cutscene was way more interesting than anything I could have said. Anyways, the things I want to point out. So, Layla, the first woman that you saw smoking the cigarette, is the newest uh, present-day protagonist in the series that was introduced two games ago in Assassin's Creed Origins. When she's about to take a drink of water from the sink, she stops, looks up, and across the room is this big golden staff inside of a box. That is the staff of Hermes, who is the messenger of the gods in Greek mythology. If it looks familiar, by the way, you've probably seen it on real-life hospitals, pharmacies, ambulances. Uh, since Hermes was a messenger, a huge part of what he did was he had to travel. Hence the wings, by the way. His shoes apparently also had wings. But he was considered a patron of travelers, so his connection to medicine is representative of doctors having to travel to their patients back in the day. That staff was obtained in the game prior to this one, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And after that whole explanation, you should have been able to guess 
that game took place in ancient Greece. At some point in the story, the staff came into the possession of Alexios or Cassandra, who are the two ancient Greek protagonists in that game. The staff granted them eternal life, and Blair found out that they lived all the way until 2018, which is when the modern day story of Odyssey takes place. Their job was to basically protect the world, and one of the ways they did that was to keep the balance between order and chaos, meaning the war between the assassins and the Templars. This chain is huge, and poorly anchored it appears. I might be able to shoot it. That was a major backstory since the beginning of this whole series, and they basically made it pointless because that would have meant that neither side was meant to win. But long story short, they ended up giving the staff to Layla, which is how she ended up with it. Now, that's everything I know that I wanted to talk about. There's two questions that I have that aren't really meant to be answered, at least not right at this moment. I probably won't have the answer for a while, but it's something to think about. I think it's interesting how they talk about the end of the world because this trilogy with Layla started with Assassin's Creed Origins, Origins as in the beginning, then there was Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Odyssey meaning journey, and there's this game called Valhalla. I don't know much about Norse mythology, but everything I've gathered about so far from this game, Valhalla sounds like their version of the afterlife in their religion, which can be representative of the end. So you got the beginning, the journey, and the end. Meanwhile, there's a mention at the end of the world, which makes you think if those things are related in any way. Lastly, this is a very basic question compared to everything I've said so far, but Eivor is currently on his way to settle in England. Did anybody notice that they say they dug up his grave in North America? I really wonder how and why he ended up there. Should be closed now, barring any more surprises. I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dag. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and the ale on hand when we arrive. We should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig, tender and juicy. And ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back then. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins stopped the landscape. Every brick and stone tells the story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. Ruins are not warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, we find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Nothing isn't wrong. Right. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Those are not Norsemen. They're too wrecked and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Who are these men? 
They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark, Eivor! On me! I'm confused. Weren't they trying not to fight anybody? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways. You there, give us your name. I am Sigurd Jar of Fornberg, and you are men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakarout, and draw your weapon. Oh! All right, I guess we're fighting. Let's finish them. Kill these heathen bastards! You have what you wish for, Dak. Whoa, what was that? Is this guy throwing sand at me? Yo, there's only like five guys before and then like ten more came out of nowhere. Surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Explore the area. Scavengers might still be hiding in the remains of the longhouse. as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant. Not a bandit like those others. This is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I read their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Hastan Yal's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. Yeah. 
You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable. To keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again. Somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Doug? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg, son of Stirbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a fort. Gonna get working again. We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. What else have you found? Short notes. Scraps of plans, old letters. 
What his wife said was exactly what I was thinking. They just got here and they already want to raid? Although Sigurd does have a point. That, you know, they can't get what they want without it. <laughs> Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, Viking then. Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and splintering. <laughs> Join us, if we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the oar of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes. Take that with you, and put it to better use than they did. Settling down, take command of the longship. <laughs> Monastery raids, raiding heavily guarded locations, the best way to find a wealth chest. Containing supplies and raw materials, both are needed to construct buildings at the settlement. The raid is done when all nearby wealth chests have been looted. Curious and listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. At last! We will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs! The Saxons know we are here now. The monasteries no will be well gone. Run off the sail! Ah, nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager. So I gotta go towards those red axes that are crossed. Oh, look, we're here already. Oh, boy. I just realized, are we attacking a church? Man, somebody's going to hell for this. I just realized I've never used any of these abilities. Um, let's try one. Wow, I just completely missed because I wasn't even facing that direction. There's more stuff. Yeah, I didn't 
seem to have gotten anything from that. Oh, there's a big chest down here. Hey, come here a moment. There it is. But if there's more, we should claim it. Oh, we should claim it. Looks like another church. How do I get into this building? Hey, oh, come here. Is. Big chest. Great completed. And I got a trophy. Remember I'm just gonna get out of here. Where's my ship? Now, what's this exclamation point? Hey, no, water. Oh. Ah. My thank you. I'm going to revive my my crew. Get back to the ship. ship go I'm not sure where I was going I just walked towards the water I just realized the ship icon is on, on the thing on top. Hey! This was a good day. Fine work from all of you. We should return home and unload everything. Are you certain there aren't a few more gold nuggets squirreled away somewhere? My gut tells me no. No need to count my kills. They number too many. Likely story, Wolf Kissed. Me? I killed 26, I think. Ah, there were barely a dozen when we arrived, Doc. No, no, you missed them. They attacked from the forest. What's wrong? 
along with you. Hush now. Back so soon. And we good news, I hope. I think we have all we need. Tell me to interact with the sign? Oh, this is how he builds stuff. This is wonderful, Aver. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Fornberg. Come visit me any time. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. Building the settlement. Gain access to unique services, settlers, quests, and more by constructing buildings in Ravensthorpe. To construct a new building, approach a signpost with sufficient supplies and raw materials. As sediment grows, it will gain renown and unlock new building opportunities. Up arrow to call Raven to see all services that are built or available to construct. Simple enough. I don't think I really have much supplies at the moment, so I'm going to just go talk to Sigurd. There, friend. <sighs> My back hurts. Standing here all day. Good day. In here. What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. Get acquainted with my room? Wonder... A letterbox for messages and requests. I don't know if I have a use for that. Ravensthorpe status encampment. It's basically just a list of stuff that needs to be done in the settlement. Uh, I guess it's time to sleep. Hmm. A bed better than many I've slept in. And a good place to recover. You know, I really didn't need to examine that to know what a bed Not is for. Much, but it is mine. I thought he was actually gonna go to sleep or something. This must be done. Yes, and I can help. Look at me. Look at these arms. I am a beast. What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. 
We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. You can come now, the horse. Not yet. First speak with Randy. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. Eivor, my stable is a bit spared just now, but if you can build me something better, I promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling stable would be a great boon here. I will see what I can do. Oh, it looks like I have just enough supplies for this. I know I built it already, but I'm not entirely sure that there's that much use for a stable for me personally when I can call a horse from pretty much anywhere. There you are. You wanted to see me? As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances, ironclad, with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So, where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leicestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him, and see what he needs. I want to see the alliance map. Alliance map. If you want your settlement to thrive in England, your clan must forge alliances, pledge to a territory to confirm your interest in alliance, as pledges are completed and allies are made, other territories will be made available. So it looks like you only have two options at the moment. Um, this one reward looks like supplies. And this reward looks like a fast travel location? Whatever, let's do this one. Tell me more about Leicestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. 
He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. Garden Blood Tooth. A circus make fierce foes, but powerful allies. His strength would bolster our settlement. I should seek him out. I guess that's how you discover side quests? Hmm, <laughs> here I thought that thing was useless. Alright, which one am I supposed to be doing? Alright, so I'm gonna do the one where I have to meet up with Sigurd. Three thousand meters away. Definitely gotta take a boat there. Wrong boat. First off, let's see where this place even is. Whoa. Okay, so in previous games, usually when you, you know, you travel by boat, um, you're usually in the ocean, and, you know, it's open water, and sometimes, you know, there's land masses in the way, but... This time, it looks like very narrow rivers that I have to figure out how to navigate just to get there. So, this should be fun. Um, alright, let's just go. Actually, I see like there's a ton of viewpoints and things on the way, so I'm gonna try to get a few of those, um, on the ways. And, looks like this area right here is pretty convenient, so I'm gonna head towards there first. Sail is ready when needed. Shields in! Let's hear a story. When I was 11 winters old, I was the youngest of my favorite cousins. A wild and rowdy bunch of boys and girls. Together with our parents, we attended a feast at the home of Halkdan the Black of the House of Ingling. To toughen our patience, our parents set us with the old woman, who ordered us to bake flatbreads and serve it to the noble yards. After an hour, the flatbreads piled so high into pillars, you could have built a roof over it and called it a longhouse. When our work was done, an older boy, Boothrod, suggested we steal a keg of meat drown in happiness for our good work. So Guthrod, Mikkel, and Orsa snuck into the storeroom and stole the barrel as I stood watch. But when we were spotted, I froze. Three of Harold's men stopped us. They struck Guthrod and Mikkel and pushed Orsa to the ground. 
Whose idea was this? They asked. I stood and said, the idea was mine. The need is for me. One of the men eyed me and said only, that is not true. Then, they moved on. <laughs> Looks like I'm here. I think I'm just gonna uh, go by foot at this point. You know, the way he jumps down makes me nervous because in previous games, if you jump down, you kind of, assuming you jump down in like the correct spot, it will automatically do this diving animation where you go down like head first. If you do it the wrong way, then your, then your um, character won't jump down like that. So considering he dives out feet versus that head first like they did in previous games, it, it makes me think I did it wrong. Can I destroy this somehow? These walls will break when explosions, shooting at oil jars, placed near the walls and throw an oil jar. Um, makes sense. Except where do I get an oil jar? Do I have one here? Or? I have a torch. That did not work. Oh, wait, I think, I think I got it. If I shoot this thing, there we go. I want to go for is this book of knowledge which I marked the stairs because I'm assuming that's how I get to it because uh, these books of knowledge have never been in obvious places these stairs seem to be underground maybe maybe I go down here first I missed something Must be it. Oh, I'm on the right track. Oh, 
I'm on fire. Oh no. I gotta use up some skill points, by the way. Impale an enemy with your harpoon and throw them in any direction. Oh, that looks dope. Um, enemies who strike objects or other enemies will suffer massive damage. I'm definitely using this. Oh god, get away from me. I'm just trying to get back to my boat. No! You guys are way too strong for me. So, looks like the next viewpoint I should try to unlock is over here. Although I'm not really looking forward to this one because it's on top of a, it looks like it's on top of a mountain. And mountains in this game have so far been very difficult to climb. Oh, God, be straight. You salt skulls, got a story? During my 19th winter, King Styrbjorn ordered the construction of a new longhouse. The splendid hall you now see at Thornburn. To build this longhouse, he employed the help of 20 men. I was among them, as was Fradi, the strongest and stoutest man I had ever seen. Back to the story. We set about felling trees and hewing wood for timber. Fradi was the fastest of us. Dropping 41 trees in only two days. Sail. On the third day, a spindly man called Nar was near upon felling his first tree. He had hacked it all the way around like some mad animal. When the tree fell, it did so in a direction he had not wished. Straight down upon the ground. Nar called out. But it was too late. Pradi had only enough time to turn Hold on, you. face the doom bearing down upon him. I tried to steer it through the opening and just the timber hammer. it just didn't work. The force of the trees falling drove Pradi deep into the Ah, there's the a new point. Oh yeah, it's definitely on top of a mountain. Oh my he god. He held that angry trunk as a lover. 
Like hounds, we scooped at the snow ah, to reach him. Through. We found blood. We'll continue later. is heavily guarded. Oh, it's not even that big of a mountain. It's kind of like, you know, some of it's a mountain, and then the rest of it looks like just scaffolding. But apparently it's a restricted area, so I hope I don't get attacked. I don't see anyone, though, so that's a good sign. Okay, that was much easier than I anticipated. Good sailing wind here, Avon. of a sword? Too often, dog. More times than any man can count. <laughs> Finally almost here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like right under the uh, blue question mark, I think that's a viewpoint uh, symbol right underneath it. And I'm going to go and lock that viewpoint first before I uh, 
I continue with the story because if I continue the story, next thing you know, they're gonna move me to some other place, and then it's like, are you feeling all right? They're gonna move me to some other place, and I'm maybe not be so close to the viewpoint anymore. For Ivar Ragnarsson. Are you Sigurd Drenger? Uh, Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, we'll stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies! Now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy, to run amok the Mercian fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You planted your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Burgrid sent him.
I'm not going anywhere, Backrot. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexsilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. If this is one of them, my worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Upa and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Chelwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Do you have what it takes to be king? One day, I hope. As it stands, we at least have an understanding. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jail Wolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, Remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf. Come morning, this shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Cheerwolf betrayed his present king. Maybe tomorrow he betrays us too. Why trust him? How can I answer that with any hope that you'd believe me? I only want what is best for the people of Mercia. And I want what's best for my son. In Burgred's Mercia, where Danes and Saxons murder one another daily, it's not possible. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come, if only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheerwolf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. <laughs> <laughs>